What are some skills a future hairstylist should work on outside of their curriculum? Hmm. I thought this was a good one for you guys. Yeah? I think so, right? I think what cooking. Would you, <laughs> cooking? <laughs> cooking? Learn how to make lots of Meal amazing prep. dishes with ramen noodles <laughs> while you're uh, building your book. No, I mean, it's a, it's the typical stuff I think that we've said over and over again. Yeah. Like, to kind of work on your people skills. Mm-hmm. You know, not everybody is born with people skills, and it's something that you just can't get by in this business without. Um, yeah. You know, your ability to learn to, to multitask, stuff that I think comes with the job just from doing it. But I guess if you can work on it, if you can do things outside that will help you, that's good. Yeah, I think so. I, I mean, I, I think that's a pretty good answer for that. Yoga is good because it teaches body position more I than I know. Whenever I <laughs> the like five times that I took a yoga class, I was definitely better body position when I came back to work. So I was more conscious of like of what you were doing straight uh, back and that, that's how I was with that Pilates. whole thing. The whole three months I took Pilates. <laughs> We were like really good once upon a <laughs> time. We were time. really good at it for a short They might want to take outside hair classes because the curriculum is not that great. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I was going to say. I'm just saying. Find a company that inspires you. Find a hairdresser that inspires you. Yeah. Um, soak in everything that they have to offer you. Um, I know a lot of times it can be as simple as getting into a salon that you want to be in and then finding a hairdresser in there and making friends with them and just shadowing them. Yeah. It's definitely really important to have somebody that inspires you throughout your entire career. So that's going to change throughout your career, but just finding that person right now that you look up to, that you want to learn as much as you can from. Um, because this, the worst part about this industry is that, not the worst part about the industry, but about people in the industry is they get uninspired very easily. Um, and I think as long as you just keep that hunger for learning and finding new people to watch, yeah. um, you'll stay current with what's happening. And finding Because the industry changes a lot. Like, it doesn't change from a product standpoint that much, um, but it does change from a style standpoint. And you take two years of not really going to classes or not pushing yourself, and you'll find yourself dated quickly. Right. Um, so Combine that with, like, hobbies and life goals, and you should be able to stay inspired. Yeah. You could start researching salons where to work, too, or what you want to do with your right. license. Right. Yeah, because that's important. Yeah.